Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, what I have for you, a very, very simple slow cooker meal. Teriyaki chicken. You can pre-make it, throw it into like a, a gallon Ziploc freezer bag, freeze it, and then when you're ready to use it, you pull it out, let it thaw a little bit, drop it in your slow cooker, bam, seven hours later, you're chowing on some teriyaki chicken. Let's go over these ingredients. Let's get this going. So the ingredients that we're gonna use, a little bit of chicken broth, some soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, ginger paste. I didn't know where to find this in the grocery store. I had to ask, because I always use fresh ginger, but the recipe asked for ginger paste. So there's some ginger paste. Minced garlic, some brown sugar, carrots. The recipe also calls for green peppers, but I can't stand them, so I'm not putting them in there, but I'll put it in the recipe list down below. And one and a half pounds of cubed chicken breast. So if you're gonna freeze this first, get a Ziploc bag right on there, teriyaki chicken, low seven to eight hours, high four hours. That way you know how long to cook it once you take it out of the refrigerator or freezer. So the first thing that I'm gonna add in is gonna be the chicken. And you want about a pound and a half, cut up into cubes, and you're gonna put that at the bottom of your Ziploc bag. Now, because I got nobody to help me hold the Ziploc bag, I cut the top off of a gallon water jug, and that is now my Ziploc bag holder. So just get all your chicken in there, and then to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add our carrots. This is about three and a half carrots that I cut up. If you're adding the green pepper, now is when you'd add the green pepper, but I'm not. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my minced garlic, about a teaspoon of ginger paste, cup of chicken broth. I usually just add the whole can, it's 10 ounces rather than eight. Some soy sauce and teriyaki sauce. And last but not least, about a tablespoon of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, don't go out and buy it. Just use olive oil. It'll work too. We're gonna seal it. Make sure it's sealed before you do this next part. Now we wanna mix everything together. And yes, there is air in there. It's gonna make it mix easier. You wanna make sure that the ginger paste and the garlic is all mixed in. Now, you wanna get all the air out that you possibly can. Once you have all the air out, easiest thing to do, just lay it flat like that in your freezer. Um, I do recommend that you put something underneath it like a paper towel or something like that for two reasons. One, if it does leak, it's gonna leak into the paper towel. But if you have multiples of these, let's say you're gonna make this one and I've got other recipes that I'm gonna show you, you're gonna make four of them over the weekend place a paper towel in between them when you stack them up, that way they won't freeze and stick together. But now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this guy, go put him in the freezer and let him sit. 
So just to show you what it's gonna look like once it's all frozen, this happens to be garlic lime. It's another recipe that we're doing. But that teriyaki is gonna come out looking like this. Nice and frozen. And what you're gonna do, the night before you cook your meal, you're gonna put this in your refrigerator. Let it thaw out. So the next morning when you get up, it's nice and, nice and thawed. You're gonna take this, empty it into your crock pot, set your crock pot for seven to eight hours on low or four hours on high or whatever it's supposed to be set at, and let it go. So after your seven to eight hours on low or four hours on high, that's what it's gonna look like. Well, it's not really what it's gonna look like because as you can tell, the carrots that are in here are a little different. This is one that I had frozen before and wanted to cook it while I was showing you how to make the other one so that they were both done about the same time. And also this one I used chicken thighs rather than chicken breasts because at the time the chicken thighs were on sale and the chicken breasts weren't. So what you're gonna do now is take about half a cup of this fluid that's in here. So take about a half a cup of fluid out of there and we're going to mix our cornstarch with this and pour it back inside. So take that mixture, pour it back inside, mix it up. And this is gonna thicken the sauce. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this on high for just about 15 minutes. And if you don't have a timer on your crock pot, just eyeball it. So it's been about 15 minutes. Sauce did thicken up. Give this a try. So that's the epitome of a slow cooker meal. You really didn't do anything. You threw a bunch of stuff in a Ziploc bag or in your crock pot, you turned it on, you left, you came back, you did 15 minutes worth of work and poof, there's your food. Now let's give it a try. Tastes like teriyaki chicken, which is what it's supposed to taste like. And again, there's a slow cooker meal. Add anything else you want to it. You want bell peppers, you want onions, put anything in there that you like. This is the way that we like it. I've seen this recipe, it's all over the place. I'll post it down below. You can also find it on our website, www.burningcereal.com. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. I wanna remind you that we have new recipes coming out every Tuesday and Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click on subscribe right below. That way you'll get the updates every week. Can't wait to see you again.